the Pac-12 announced they are not going to expand. I'm sure that this was a shock to you, but what they said in their statement was, following consultation with our presidents, chancellors, and athletic directors, the Pac-12 conference has made the decision to not pursue expansion of our membership at this time. This decision was made following extensive internal discussion and analysis and is based on the current competitive strength and cohesiveness of our 12 universities. It is also grounded in our confidence in our ability as a conference to best support our student-athletes and to grow and thrive both academically and athletically. What they said there was, at this time, the Big 12 has not officially split up yet. Just throwing that out there. Yeah, this is definitely a, uh, we're not doing anything yet, but... So do you think everything Dave Wanstead said was wrong the other day? No, I don't. So I don't either. I, I think they're absolutely going to expand, but they're going to wait until the the Big 12 gets paid out by either ESPN and both the, uh, the buyout clauses from Texas and Oklahoma. I've said this before. And then once those people get paid out, once those teams get their money from those schools in that institution – then they will dissolve the conference, and then they will expand. Yes. And I think this agreement has already been made, and I believe Bob Bowlesby might be the only one that either doesn't know it or he knows it and is just why he would keep quiet about it. I don't know unless somebody's going to offer him a job in one of these conferences or they're just doing this behind his back, and this deal has already been done. That might be what that meeting with Klyovkov was about before. Yeah. Just saying, because nothing do ever we, came out of that. Do we have a place for you? Yeah. I could I could see that. I could mm-hmm. 100% see it. I mean, it could be any number of different things. Like That's right. Bowlesby's getting on up there. He could be ready to retire. Who knows? That's but, right. They could, they could hand him a walk-away fee. All three of the conferences that are going to pulch the, the Big 12 could all throw him a kicker. And yeah. if everybody threw him a couple of million dollars, then, then he gets to walk away and retire and have a little bit of severance package. And, and then they get to expand the way they want to expand and, and all this other stuff. But I, I think it's going to happen. It's not if, it's when. And the date it happens is going to be after Texas and Oklahoma have paid their penalties and ESPN has paid out their contract, and then it will all happen. Yes, because as it stands right now, if the Big 12 were to dissolve early, Texas and Oklahoma do not owe any of that money. That's right. Those schools are kind of left uh, with nothing in their pockets. That's right. Right. Okay. So right now they got yeah. an alimony check coming to them. They just got to pay a waiting game. Yeah, and that's that's what all this is, right? The that's all it game. is. The, the Pac-12 expansion is one thing we've talked about the the playoff expansion and all that. They it's not that these schools don't want to expand. It is that they want more broadcast partners at the table. With this, you know, the Pac-12 wants to strengthen Fox because that's who they do the majority of their. Games and the with. Big Ten wants to do the same thing, by the way. Yes, and I, I don't blame any of them for wanting to do that. Now, oh, I guess no. I guess the question, this is going down a different rabbit hole now that I'm thinking about it. it. The biggest question will be, Does do these conferences find a way to get ESPN to agree to expand but only extend it until, I guess, keep the contract the way that it is. It's just give them more money for more games. Like, do they let ESPN keep three years of this and then it goes to open market? Or do they say, like, ESPN, if you don't hop on board with this, then we're not going to let you have any part of it because we'll just well, go play. Think, kind of the way CBS and, and uh, ESPN went through their thing with the SEC, right? I, I would be shocked if they didn't want ESPN as any part of it at all Agreed. because it's in the branding interest of the NCAA, of college football, to, to want ESPN as a partner, to have them as a partner. They have the biggest, most important college football show in the country. And, and outside of, you know, the NFL, it's probably the most watched show in the country. And, and, and so, I, you know, I don't, I don't know that for a fact, but I would bet the ratings for game day is probably the biggest show every week outside of the NFL. I doubt that. I would so, doubt that. So, you know, I, I bet it pulls bigger numbers than most games. It's, um, uh, I do know, like, it's not as big as some of the cable, uh, cable news outlets, but it, it's ooh, never going shocking. to be. No, no, no. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. But, but neither here nor there, I would want them as a partner. Yes. But but ESPN if ESPN wants a hostile takeover, I do think this alliance stops that. 
yeah. I think two of the three are in bed with another company, and one of the three has a contract that they're not happy with ESPN. So that hurts ESPN completely. And and I believe I believe that 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 would cause some ripples. But I also don't think I, I've been open about this. I don't think it's in the best interest of the sport of any of these conferences whatsoever to have all of the playoff be under one umbrella. I just yeah. don't think that's wise. I think I would want. I would want multiple entities, exactly like the NFL, to own pieces of the playoff. And if it's a thing where we rotate it around, I'm fine with that. I do not care. I would treat it exactly like the NFL, exactly like it. it you know, if you get to host the the championship game, you get one less playoff game than everybody else, or something of that nature. You know, because you get the biggest prize of them all. And, and we just work from there. I do think it should go to 12. That gives them, what does that give them, six playoff games? No, that would be four, four, oh, no, that gives two, them and yeah. one. So uh, yeah. 11 playoff games. Yeah. So you're basically splitting up 11 playoff games. You know, I have no idea if CBS has a place in that. But if CBS wants a piece of it, I'm, I'm selling it to anybody who wants it. OK, yeah. the one thing I would right now be leery of is selling any part of it to streaming only just because I think college football still needs to make sure it's playoff. Everybody can watch it. And I think there's a lot of old blue hairs out there that won't be able to watch it. But those are the people that are funding the sport. Yes. OK, yes. those are the, they're not funding the sport. They're funding the universities. They ain't nobody our age or under paying donations to universities. All right, not not these big time donations. So so all of your boosters are are, are mid to late 50s, 60, 70, 80 year old people who aren't going to like the streaming option. If Amazon picked it up and said, you know, a, a national championship game or just a playoff game between two teams, but it's only streamed on Amazon, I I think that would get bad numbers, and I don't think that would go over well. But outside of streaming only, now if Amazon wants to partner with NBC and say we would like a streaming option, and we, you know, we're, we, you know, whatever, I don't know why NBC would do that because they have their own streaming option. But you know, something of that nature, then 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 that might be different. But but I I would I would open this thing up to all four of the major networks. I would make them bid on it just like the NFL, and I think you're going to find yourself every every the playoffs are going to be worth more than they've ever been worth ever. Yes, I I agree. I agree. And, you know, along with that, this whole expansion thing for the Pac-12, obviously the Big Ten and the ACC have not yet spoken about it. But I can imagine that they will be doing the same thing because this is smart from a business sense to not get involved with somebody that is not available yet. Like, there can still be conversations happening behind the scenes. Oh, you can make deals. I I, I I believe those... Oklahoma I think those deals Texas, are already made. Yeah, Oklahoma and Texas talked to the SEC for months before anybody knew about it. That's right. I think, and that, and I think the SEC Oklahoma Texas deal was made six months ago, nine yeah. months ago. I I think it was a done deal. I think they had an agreement in place. I think that that Oklahoma State already has their agreement in place. I think that the Kansas whatever Iowa State deal is done. Like I think what Dave Wanstead said. I think those deals are probably done. Yes. I really do. I, I don't agree. think there's any negotiation. I don't think that there's any. I think we already have agreements, and I think everybody understands what's important about the agreement. Don't say anything from now on out. If you're asked about it, say no, that you're as strong as you can, and try to make the Big 12 as valuable as possible, because when you join our relationship, you actually bring something to the table. Okay? Yeah. So we don't want to hurt any of these brands because we're about to be in a relationship with these brands. So it's not in our best interest to shit on them. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's, they they tried to build them up so much during the sure. press conference. Why? I mean, the if, only purpose if you're of building, building up, up somebody who's not a part of your alliance is because they're about to be a part of your your partnership. Yes, yes. just not an alliance. Exactly, because the conference won't exist. Like, that's there's right. no sense of bringing in the Big Twelve as a as a partner. If in you're going to destroy, if you're going to destroy the Big Twelve. That's Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.